All right. So we, in the last video, we talked about what slope was, and we started um, to talk about how to find slope either on a graph or um, using our formula, the y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. All right, and we um, discovered that it was described as rise over run, all right, which is um, what we're going to talk about first today, and then we're going to go into the other parts of um, how to graph the actual, um, or the actual formula for a line. All right, so first off, we have um, slope, which is in our... Um, formula going to be represented as m. It will always be m. And this is the um, slope is always the change of the output y, so it's always y, divided by the input, which is x. And it's also described as rise over run, which we already knew. Okay, so um, it is the variable um, in the y equals mx plus b, or the slope intercept form. Okay, so when we're talking about slope intercept form, we're talking about y equals mx plus b. All right, and this is a very universal um, formula. It is used um, always for slope intercept, so commit to memory that slope is always m. Okay? All right, now there is something called a y intercept, and the y intercept is where um, the point or your line will cross over this y-axis, all right? So the y-intercept is always on the y-axis. It is represented as b, okay, in the y equals mx plus b, okay? So, for example, if you look, you can see a lot of these lines, how right where they're intersecting the point is these blue dots along the y-axis, all right? All right, so we can actually use this information to identify the slope and the y-intercept of the equation in order to um, graph it, okay? So we can actually say in y equals 4x plus 3, our m is 4, so our um, slope is 4, or we can also rewrite it as 4 over 1, okay? And our b is plus 3, okay? It's positive 3. So we would say it's um, 0, 3. So you're going to intersect if you were to graph this. You'd say, okay, well, we're going to go 0 up to 3. Just say this is 3 right here, okay? So that's where your line would intersect, okay? So if I were to find um, the m and the b of this particular um, equation down here, I have y equals x minus 6. Well, we know that in front of every um, variable, there's always an invisible 1, and that's where we're getting this 1 from. So our y, uh, or our slope is going to be 1 over 1, or you can just call it 1. And since we have minus 6, our intercept is negative 6. Okay, so again, instead of it being 3, it's going to be somewhere down here at like negative 6. Alright. So if I were to go through and look at this, if you want to, um, if we wanted to identify the slope and the y-intercept of the equation, we would say, well, my m is 3. My slope is 3, and my intercept, my b, well, we know it's negative 2. So my y-intercept coordinate would be 0, negative 2. All right. Okay. Same thing in this one, our m would be negative 7. Our y-intercept would be positive 9. Okay. Um, 
again, our slope in this particular case would be two thirds, and our y-intercept would be plus two or zero two. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to show you now how to take y equals three x minus two, and I'm actually going to, uh, and I'm actually going to help you graph it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna get our graph right here, okay? And I know my equation is y equals three x minus two, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say y equals three x minus two. All right, so I know my y-intercept right away. I can say, okay, well, I'm gonna look at my y-intercept and I know it's negative two. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go zero, down one, two. So that is my y-intercept. So that y-intercept is telling me where I need to begin. It's my starting point. And since I know my slope is 3 over 1, from right here, I can say, okay, well, I'm going to rise 3. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and run 1. And I'm going to get 1, 2, 3 over 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1. Okay. Now, if you see, you can actually, from your starting point, you can do the exact opposite to continue the line going down this way. You can go down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1, and it will connect to make your, oof, in my case, very badly drawn, but your line. Okay. There you go. All right. So um, you can use this wonderful y equals mx plus b equation to help yourself draw it. And we're actually going to learn a really good way to remember um, this particular formula tomorrow at the beginning of class. All right, come to school with any questions and we will go over um, anything you need to and we will go from there.